Rose, and today I am back so that we can do another Koo Haul unboxing. And uh, I'm going to be showing you three items from my last order from Koo Haul. Uh, there's another two items that I'll be showing in a separate video. And um, I'm really excited to see what we get. Uh, now, for those of you who are going to be interested in potentially ordering from Koo Haul, uh, you can use a discount code that they have assigned to me. It is rambling10, just like you see it here. And um, you'll get 10% off your purchase. So uh, without any further ado, let's go and check out the first three items from the Koo Haul haul. Okay, so uh, today we're opening item number 679, 680, and 681. And these are uh, bigger size diamond paintings. Koo Haul lets you choose your size. And so I chose some medium sized diamond paintings. And um, actually I had originally ordered six items, uh, including a latch hooked rug. And uh, because I wanted to try that, um, I remember doing latch hooking when I was um, a kid. My sister, I guess, was doing it in, um, in her home ec class or something like that. And I just thought it was fascinating and, and I had fun. And so when I saw they had latch hook kits, I ordered one. But it turned out that the one I ordered was out of stock. So, um, so I didn't get it, uh, but hopefully it'll be back in stock, they tell me, and so I'm hoping that I'll be able to order it another time. So this is uh, number 679, and I call it Sunflower. Sunflowers. Yeah, Sunflowers. And it is uh, 60 by 45. Now, something I'm seeing... Uh, that I saw in my friend Rob, also known as Diamond Painting Dog Dad. Um, he ordered from Kuhol and he also got uh, his bags of drills like this, kind of all thrown in together. So the reason, like I had, when I made this order, I had planned to um, do just a single video uh, with all the items in it. But after seeing Rob's video, I decided, no, I'm going to break the order up into two separate videos because I'm going to need to do some kind of an inventory on the drills if, in fact, and there's a few loose drills here, which is why I'm reaching over to, to move things off my diamond painting. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of an inventory on the drills. I haven't had to do that for a long, long time, um, but uh, it's time now to do it. So let's first take a look at the kit. So we get actually a very nice kit. Uh, it's got a four placer. It's got a humongous piece of wax. Uh, and it's also got um, plenty, well, a lot of bags. Now I am happy to see that this diamond painting has 35 colors. So uh, that's nice. And um, That'll give a lot of definition to the image. And I'll need to iron this canvas uh, before I start working on it, but that's okay. It's not, it's not terribly bad. Uh, there's a little bit of sticky down here, but uh, again, I'm not too worried about that. Everything else looks good. So, um, okay. So 35 colors. Round drills. Did I order round? Yes, I did. I did order round. Okay, so um, let's measure. And it is 54 by 39. And I am a little disappointed to see that uh, there are drill circles on this canvas. So uh, training wheels, some people call them, I call them guide circles. Um, but if, because they're black circles for the light colors, 
It means that if you don't place your round drill exactly right, you're gonna see black behind your drill, which makes me crazy, I hate that. So I, I'm, I don't like drill circles. Um, so that's a little disappointing. Um, okay, let's take a look at the legend and we'll take a look at the, and the legend is only printed on one side. And uh, we don't have any way of knowing if we've got enough drills because there's no inventory sheet. Usually when you get this sort of thing, there's an inventory sheet. I don't see an inventory sheet. So um, the best that I'll be able to do is to match the DMC colors to the, the um, legend, make sure I've got all the colors I'm supposed to, and then hope that they've sent enough bags of everything. Uh, which I'm not gonna assume that they didn't, but it is just something to keep in mind. Okay, so let's take a look. So this, the symbol set is very simple. It is numbers and then letters in alphabetical order. Uh, and then a few symbols. And there are my three least well um i don't anyway i don't love all the symbols they've used but we'll see how they look on the canvas uh yeah because they've got the number sign they've got the ampersand and they've got the percent sign and let's just see they have an s but the s and the ampersand are different colors so i'm not too worried about that so it'll just be a case of seeing how clear those items are on the um canvas itself. So let's go into 1x and let's take a look at the canvas. So you see what I mean about the drill circles? On these dark colors, they have white uh, guide circles. And so if you don't place your drill exactly right, you're going to see those guide circles behind the drills or outside of the drills, which is a little bit um, frustrating like if you're like me and you you want to not see that it means you're going to be fussing to place your drills exactly straight there's the percent sign it's not too bad it's not great it's not too bad the number sign is okay again it's not I don't love it um, let's just looking for anything else that stands out at me. I have no idea what that symbol is. Oh, that's the um, number 35, 3862. It's a uh, the open bracket or the open parenthesis symbol. Um, okay. Normally I would say that, you know, that would look better if it was a, a black symbol printed on a light color like that. But given that it is a light color, I'm glad that the that they're printing in white because uh, you won't see black around. Like the white, if there is a little bit of the white showing, it'll be less noticeable than if there was black showing. So, um, yeah. Uh, okay, let's... Let's speed it up a little bit. Yeah, okay, so the percent sign, the number sign, uh, the ampersand. Let's see if I can find an ampersand. Meanwhile, oh, the ampersand is okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the ampersand. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's it's... It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't like the drill circles. I gotta say that. But the printing is very clear. The printing is very, very clear. Um, the least clear thing probably is this um, uh, 3864 symbol, the open parenthesis, or the right parenthesis, um, or the left parenthesis. Can't tell left and right, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, other than that, everything is nice and clear. The 5 is not going to get confused with anything because the S is a completely different color. Uh, where is the S? 
What color is this? It's reddish. Oh, there's an S. Okay, yeah, you're not going to confuse. You're not going to confuse the 5 and the S because the S is this red in the center of the flowers. Okay, so I'm 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 fine with this. Um it's not bad. The the only thing that I don't like about it is the um guide circles. Really, everything else is fine. Um I am going to set you up so that we can take a look at these drills. And I'm getting my tape dispenser because these are individual bags. Uh, they're not strips of the same color. So I'm going the way that I sort drills when uh, when they come in like this is I tape all the bags of, a, of the same color together in a strip uh, because it'll make it easier when it comes time to work on the diamond painting to know that I've got all of one color together because that way I can... As I'm working on the colors, um, if I don't kit the entire set of drills all together, sometimes I use smaller containers, and so um, you know I can only fit four or five bags at a time. Uh, when I go to my set of drills afterwards, if they're all taped together, first off, I don't go, have to go picking through all the bags of drills to find the ones that I need, and second. I can tell if I'm approaching the end. And of course, what that does is it makes me feel anxious if I'm approaching the end of the drills before I approach the end of the diamond pan. But I hope that's not going to happen here. So, um, I just want to make sure that I've got the drills for the right kit. CHO856R4, yes. And um, so that's okay oh i've got loose drills so at least one bag of drills has ripped open and that's more likely to happen when you have a kit like this where they've ripped every individual package off of a strip because that gives that many more opportunities for somebody who's working very fast to goof and um and rip a bag of drills. So yeah, uh, I'm, I definitely will need to iron this. Uh, and the drills just keep, the loose drills just keep falling out. Okay, I'm gonna get a little container for them because there's gonna be a bunch. Okay, I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna raise you up a little bit just so you can see this. So I'm gonna empty all of the drills onto the back of the canvas. So I did another Pooh Hall unboxing, but they were all special drill diamond painting kits. So it was that mandala that's hanging in the hallway at my place. It was a special shaped uh, glow in the dark wolf. And it, I think it was a glow in the dark. I can't remember now. And it was uh, something else. I think a mandala. Uh, no, it was a small Kleenex box. Um, and uh, so I haven't done an actual like regular type drill, you know, regular round or regular square drill kit from this company. And uh, so this is my first experience with them. And yeah, I'll show you all the loose drills afterwards. Um, so here we have the entire thing. I don't, like when they come like this, I don't put them back in these bags. I put them in Ziploc bags. So I will, um, I'll be getting one of my Ziploc bags out soon. Um, I'm going to organize all this and then I'm going to come back to you and I'll show you the finish. Um, like the, not the finish, but I'll show you the end of, of this. There's hair from whoever it was that bagged this uh, stuck to the diamond painting. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put you on pause and I'll come back once this is all organized into some sort of meaningful, um, grouping. Okay. So... Um, I have organized all the colors and I found the bag that was ripped so I'll just put that in a little Ziploc bag um, and I have 36 colors and I'm only supposed to have 35 so they sent me something extra 
Um, at least I hope it's extra. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tape all the bags together and everything and then flip over the diamond. Well, I don't need to flip it over. I will do inventory on the diamond painting itself. Uh, and the only thing I can do inventory for is for colors, not quantity. So I have to trust that they have sent me the right quantity of all of the different colors of drills. And I won't know until I actually drill the diamond painting, if that's so. So just a minute, I'll be back. Okay, so uh, I just did inventory on the, I just put little dots beside the numbers that I have. So I know that the extra bag is this 3865, which apparently is not needed for this diamond painting. So I will just um, set it aside in my spares. Um, but I've got everything else that I need. So I'm just going to tape them all together. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have uh, finished uh, putting all the bags together so that they are organized according to color and all the colors are uh, taped together. Um, and I realized when I was more than halfway done that I had not shown you the quality of the drills and so forth. But uh, I can say that they look pretty good to me and they are in this kind of package. Uh, with the, the diamond written across it in the crosshatch kind of pattern. And um, generally speaking, those drills are pretty good. I noticed absolutely nothing that concerned me. Let me just zoom way, way in here so that you can see some of these bags. Yeah, I didn't see anything at all that concerned me when I was looking at these drills. They look nice and flat. And I didn't see any tabs. They don't seem to be of, you know, varying sizes or anything like that. Um, so I, I think the drills will be fine. So let's just zoom back out again. Okay, so um, I think this is going to look nice when it's done. And uh, I can understand how some people would be a little disappointed with uh, getting, you know, their drills this way. A lot of us are used to now uh, getting our drills in the ribbon packaging uh, where each bag has just as many drills as you're going to need for the diamond painting. Uh, it's been a long time since I've ordered a diamond painting that came with the small bags of drills. And that's fine. I mean, I've got probably 200 diamond painting. Well, not maybe, maybe not quite that many, but I've probably got like 150 diamond paintings that came pretty much exactly like this, except that usually they came in strips uh, of all the color, like the little bags of all the colors that you needed were together. Rarely do I have to put them together like that, but it's not the first time I've ever had to. Um, it would be nice if there was an inventory sheet, but uh, the other thing is that I have rarely not had enough drills to finish my diamond paintings. So that's not my biggest concern. Now, when I do one of these, um, we'll see if, if there's enough drills. My biggest concern is the drill circles, the, the training wheels or the guide circles, whatever you like to call them. Uh, I don't love those, but this is a mostly dark diamond painting and I think it'll be okay. So I am cautiously optimistic about this. I think the picture is really, really pretty. Uh, I don't think that the canvas, the way you see it, does justice to how vibrant this is going to be. Um, and that's partly because there's so much of the black uh, for the drill circles on the light colors, and there's the white drill circles on the dark colors. So all together, that kind of mutes all of the colors and you don't get the brilliance like for example look at these beautiful sort of um i can't remember what you call that color chartreuse no it's not quite a chartreuse it's like a yellow green and then this golden yellow and stuff i mean there are some really really beautiful colors in this diamond painting and you don't get any sense of that from looking at the canvas uh the way it's been printed so i'm optimistic 
this is going to be a really, really nice diamond painting. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. So, um, all right. So that is number 679, Sunflowers. And let's now, once I label this, let us move on to number 680. Okay, so number 680 is um, something very similar to what I opened in my very first Koo Haul order, which was my last order. Um, and those of you who watch my channel might remember that I opened a small Kleenex box. And, and it was a small Kleenex box because I did not realize when I opened it that, or when I ordered it, that um, they made different sizes of Kleenex boxes. I'm just gonna get you the one that I opened before. So this is the one that I opened before, and I because it's too small for Kleenexes, I use it for the plastic bags that uh, I put my kitchen compost in. Um, but it's very pretty. Now, I did run out of uh, drills, of the, the small sort of medium-sized drills here. Uh, so I had to sort of make do with the rest of the drills that were there. But, you know, I mean, it's very pretty. My cleaning lady, when she saw it, she said, oh, that's so pretty. Anyway. Uh, so it looks really nice, and I'm expecting the large one to look really nice, too. We're just going to get into it right now. So let's take a look at it from here. So this is more of a standard Kleenex box size, or tissue box, whatever you like to call them. And this is pretty heavy. Wow, okay, this is uh, made of a completely different material than the other one. This is made of wood, and it's, it's very heavy. Uh, wow, okay, this is, this is, I like it. All right, and so here we have all the drills, and we have the tray, and a little tiny piece of wax, which is going to be more than enough to do this diamond painting uh, um, special kit. Um, oh, I like this. I've never received a diamond painting um, accessory on wood before, so that's good. And I just want to make sure... So I'm going to see if my Kleenex will fit in there. So I'm just taking them out of the holder that I have them in right now. And let's see. Yeah, it might be just a wee tiny bit too too small, but let's make sure that we'll be able to dispense Kleenex. Um, I think it'll be okay. Um, my big concern is uh, that the edges are mostly um, smooth, but I would worry that they might uh, rip Kleenex if I overfill this box. So anyway, I'm not going to fill it right now, but clearly we can see that that Kleenex box does work. And that's the main thing that we want. If we're going to get a Kleenex box, we want to be able to take Kleenex out of it. All right, so we know that uh, we can put some Kleenex in there, and I like the way that works there. So the way these are done is that um, they have the double-sided tape on all five sides of the box, and then essentially your canvas is underneath and uh, applied to the wooden box with double-sided tape. And I've 
got the bamboo um, design for the Kleenex box because I thought that would be nice. And when I did my last one, I did the sides first because those are the easiest things to get to. And then I did the top. I will not be doing that this time because I ran out of drills when I was working on the top. So what I'll be doing this time around is I will be uh, using an, okay, I'll be using an X-Acto knife here to uh, slit the paper and I'll be doing the top of this Kleenex box first so that if I run out of drills, it's going to be on the sides and not on the top. And I'll be doing the two long sides. Um, so I'll be doing the top and then the two long sides and then I'll do the two short sides because if I run out of drills, I want it to be on the short sides. And so, yeah, you just pull back the paper and you drill. And there is glue right to the edge here. So what I'll be doing is uh, putting leftover drills around the edge so that I don't have any glue um, or you know double-sided adhesive that's still there because otherwise my Kleenex are going to stick to it. So uh, there we go and that so that's the Kleenex box okay um, I suppose I could show you all four sides just to make sure that it's all fine. Okay, so this is just a little piece here. And so there's no bamboo on this end. And let's see here. There we go. Again, on this side, there's no bamboo. Uh, so the bamboo is on the top and the, the long sides is absolutely fine. Let me just pull this back here. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. Okay, um, so let's take a look now at the drills that come with it. Oh, what the? Oh, that was from my last diamond painting. Remember I said that there was glue? that uh, sticky stuff on the bottom of the um, canvas, like uh, along the bottom edge of the canvas, uh, it, it has come off on my table. So I'll have to wipe that later. It's, it's glued on there, so I'll have to clean it off uh, after this video. Um, okay, so we have great big bags here. Oh, great big bags. Holy jeez, okay. And uh, the bags are labeled. And I think I'm going to have enough of everything. I, I certainly hope I'm going to have enough of everything. So we have uh, the black drills, which are they're the black resin, and then they have the silvering on top. Um, and I really, I really like these drills. They're really beautiful. And then they have the medium-sized ones of those. And then they have the large green drills, crystal drills, medium sized green crystal drills, and the little crystal drills for the bamboo. And then we have the uh, large uh, clear crystal drills, and I see one that has uh, some problems with the silvering on the bottom, but the rest look good. And so that's a lot there. And then there's a lot of these clear crystal drills as well. And they put stickers that have the symbol on the bags so that uh, you know where to place them. So these are the small size crystal drills. Um, and I don't, I don't know if they're, yeah, I think they're the clear crystal drills. So I th uh, should I run out? I have plenty more. And then there's the medium size crystal drills. So um, I'm very happy with that. I think this will look really, really nice. And what I might do is um, 
put nail polish along the exposed wood here. Uh, maybe two coats of nail polish, clear nail polish, so that uh, that gives a smooth coating with uh, no chance that the Kleenex is going to get ripped on there. And uh, what I did with the other Kleenex box as well was when I had put the, the row of drills just around the opening here, again, I sealed those on there with clear nail polish because those drills would be the ones most likely to see, you know, regular um, uh, action, if you will, because, you know, every time somebody pulls a Kleenex out, it it risks touching those drills and potentially lifting them off. So uh, either Tombow, Tombow might be the best thing, uh, to glue those drills just around the edge here uh, that I'm going to be laying down so that um, they don't uh, get lifted off. All right, so that is the Kleenex box, and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it. Very happy with it. Yep, no disappointment for this girl. And yeah, the other one was uh, plastic, and this one is wood, so that's, I find that very interesting. I'll just stick all this stuff back in here the way I found it. Okay. And I'd like to work on this fairly soon. It's just I have a whole bunch of other things I have to work on, so I won't be able to do this one right away. But uh, we'll see. I'll put it in the penny pick jar, and um, if it comes up in a penny pick soon, I will do it. If it doesn't, I might do it anyway, sort of off, off like not as a random project. So that is number 680. Uh, the bamboo tissue box. Okie dokie! So now we are on to our last item for today. And I'm not going to bother cleaning this table, even though it's driving me crazy, until after I do the next item, just in case uh, it also has a stickiness issue. So uh, this one here is one that I saw that I, I love this design. It is uh, William Morris, Tree of Life. And those of you who watch all my videos know that I requested um, this diamond painting be made in a very large size, a 50 by 100, uh, by another company that I'm not going to name in this video. And um, I'm waiting for that. But in the meantime, when I saw that Kuhal had uh, this in a 60 by 40, I thought I'm going to get it because I want to see if it'll show well, if it'll, you know, if it'll be well defined in a 60 by 45 or 45 by 60, uh, which I'm not sure if that's the canvas size. Okay, so this one here also, at the back of the canvas is all sticky. Um, and there's another loose drill and there's things stuck to the canvas. So the warehouse that Kuhal uh, deals with to get their orders out, um, there are some issues because this is, this is going to mess up my table. I'm glad I didn't clean it after the other one. Okay. And we see we've got the same issue with the drills uh, coming in a package sort of tons and tons of uh, single bags. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before, but this time I will show you uh, the bags of drills uh, before I put them in, in the Ziploc. Um, you can't see all of that. Okay, let me raise you up just a little bit more. Okay, so again, this, this has some wrinkles from mailing, uh, but it's nothing, it's nothing terrible, and those are going to flatten out nicely. Uh, what I am going to do is uh, just flatten the canvas a little bit and pull back that plastic so that hopefully that'll oh okay there's a drill stuck on the back it's like that's not going as smoothly as I'd like uh, okay and 
for those of you who haven't seen this before, this is my bone folder, B-O-N-E folder. Uh, you can look them up on Amazon, you can find them on AliExpress, uh, or pretty much anywhere that sells art supplies, Michaels, whatever. Um, if you get it from AliExpress or the dollar store, it'll be a dollar. If you buy at Michael's or um, other art stores, Amazon, you'll be paying closer to eight to ten dollars for the convenience of um, those stores. So, whichever, wherever you get it, it's exactly the same thing that you're going to get. You get to choose whether you want it instantly from Amazon or Michael's and pay the convenience fee of you know six hundred percent or 700 or 800 percent or a thousand percent or whether you want to wait and get it from um from ebay or aliexpress and uh just pay the 99 cents okay so um this looks not bad it's still a little bit pixelated but this looks not bad um I am very much looking forward to getting it in the larger size. And uh, when I do, I'll show them side by side so that uh, you can decide because this might be detailed enough for you. Uh, and, uh, and if that's the case, then you don't need to get, you know, 100 by or 50 by 100. So let's measure it first. And so William Morris, uh, he designed a whole bunch of really beautiful tapestries and uh, they are out of copyright uh, because, well, I can't remember when William Morris lived, um, but I'll put it up on the screen. But uh, anyway, his, his material, the, his designs are not copyrighted anymore. So this is 54 high and I wasn't paying attention. 39 so 39 by 54 and again it is round drills I guess they must have only had round drills because I definitely would have ordered square drills if um, square drills were available and I didn't mention it for this so I'm going to mention it now uh, this is the pixel method of printing Okay, it's not the new superimposed method. And this is also the pixel method of printing. Um, but what I like better about this is that there are no drill circles. So uh, something I've just right this minute learned about Kuhal is that some diamond paintings come with drill circles, some don't. So uh, this I'm much happier with than the other one because I don't have to worry about um, covering the guide circles. Uh, so it looks pretty nice. There's a little bit of lack of definition to, you know, the, the fine detail of it, but it looks pretty nice, I gotta say. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And with a little bit of an ironing before I start working on it, this will look good, I think. There's a little bit of adhesive from another diamond painting or something on this as well. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the legend. This one has 25 colors. And we've got the DMC numbers marked on there. Let's just see whether there's anything that I find um, confusing. So there's that percent sign. I'm not going to fuss about it because it's actually pretty clear on the canvas. I can see that. Uh, you'll see it in a minute. And then there's the number sign. And the number sign is also printed very clearly on the canvas. Here's, here it is right here. So I'm not concerned about that. And then we've got this... Um, up pointing arrow which I'm not oh there's the percent sign it's pretty clear it looks like an X but that's that's okay because uh, the only other is there another X yeah the other the other X is uh, is blue 
So the percent sign and the, the X are not going to be confused. And everything else looks good on the canvas. 25 colors. Okay, so let's uh, take a look. And just, there's that, uh, that upward pointing arrow. Uh, and it's nice and clear. The printing on this is very, very clear. Uh, do I like the K and the H? Okay, so there's the H. And what's that other symbol? K. Yeah, okay, so K and H. Uh, there's the H, there's the K. Eh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. When you see them close together like this, it's not a problem. Uh, when you see them sort of off on their own, like if you weren't looking over here... And if you weren't looking down there, uh, is that an H or is that a K? It's a little unclear. Um, that I probably would have preferred that they print in black on that color, on those two colors. But I think it'll be okay. Everything else is beautifully clear. Yeah, I, I, I gotta say, I was concerned after I saw Rob's video that, um, you know, maybe I had... Um, maybe I had uh, given people a bad, like a wrong impression about Kuhal because I was not unhappy. Like I was actually quite happy with my first order from them. So after seeing his video, I was a little concerned. Um, and so I was really looking forward to receiving this order because I wanted to test for myself, uh, you know, what I thought. And so far, I'm not unhappy. Like, I'm, I'm happy. Um, you know, there's the little stickiness issue with the canvas, which is about the worst thing uh, so far. Um, and I don't like the fact that the drills are just kind of all dumb, jumbled together. But I got all the colors I was supposed to get. I'm going to trust that I'm going to get enough of everything. Um, so what I would suggest to Kuhal is... Um, start including an inventory sheet uh, with the drills for your diamond paintings because that way we'll know whether we have enough bags of everything. And, um, and that'll just help us not to feel anxious that we might be missing drills. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to assume that the people packing the drills did a good job. Um, and that they counted properly, and, you know, we'll see. And again, when this is all done, I will, uh, I'll come back and I'll show you, and I will let you know if, the, if there were any drills that I ran out of. But, so far, I've got to say, I think this is going to look really pretty. It looks better through the camera than it does with my eyes, but from a distance, this is going to look really, really pretty. Yeah, and I think the size is pretty good. I'm very happy with this. So I'm very happy with the canvas. Don't love the fact that the back has some stickiness. Well, wait a minute, where's, oh yeah, the stickiness is up here. Uh, look, you see how sticky that is? Um, so there is some, some gunk on the back uh, and I don't know how to get rid of that, but oh well, we'll worry about that when the time comes. And, um, and now we're going to look at the drills. So I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to empty the drills onto the canvas, show you what they look like. And then I'm going to organize them all according to color. And then I'll show you all the colors. Okay, so there is a loose drill. Uh, it looks like it's that same 371 that was uh, loose the la in the last kit. Uh, so I've got a bag of 371 here. Okay, I'm going to pause and, um, well, I'll show you all of this first. Oh, there's a lot of 371 because that's like a, a color for the vines or the tree. Uh, so, oh, and look, there's a great big humongous bag of 310s. Good. I'm glad because I don't have to count them all or take, take them all together. Okay, so 
there's the colors. It's kind of a muted color scheme, but I think the tapestry just looks elegant. And so I think it's going to be really beautiful when it's done. Um, yeah, so I am going to organize these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've organized them all in piles. My pile of 30 th of 371s is so tall that it fell over. But I've got piles of everything else. As you can see, some of them are piled quite high. I have done inventory to make sure that I've got all the colors that I'm supposed to have. And I do. And I don't have any colors that I don't need. So uh, I think I'm good. I'm not going to worry about quantity. I'm going to assume that they sent the right quantity. And so now what I'm going to do is bring you down and I'll show you the colors. I'll show you one bag from each color. And just so that you can uh, satisfy yourself of what the drills look like. And I'm just picking whatever the top bag is and I put them in piles sort of randomly. So there's the 154. There's the 371. 420. These look really nice. 434. And that's what I mean. Like, you know, the this particular manufacturer of drills that come in these packages, um, they tend to be pretty good. Uh, now look at those three tens. They're nice and flat on the bottom. I don't see any tabs anywhere, so that's good. And just one bag of 500. 645. Very nice. 647. <laughs> and uh, while I am showing you this, I am also showing you the ugly diamond paintings that I got. And I've got two series of ugly diamond paintings. I think two series. I might have more. Um, but as of when I uh, started recording this video, I received enough to show you two series of ugly diamond paintings. So the first series I got from my patron, Charlotte. Uh, and so she sent me... Uh, the tractors in front of the barn and the deer and so she sent me the original image which has a green tractor and a red tractor and then she sent me pictures of the canvas uh, close up and there are no red and there are no green on the, on the in the kit that she received so those tractors they kind of wash into the background and then the second one uh, is from Carol. And the part one is what she, the image that was on the website. So this was the original art that, uh, that the diamond painting was based on. And number two was the charted image for this diamond painting that was on the website. So... <laughs> there was a way that I could have the two side by side, I'll just have to alternate the two um, so that you can see image, canvas, image, canvas. Uh, because holy smokes, that's one where if you take the time to actually flip through all of the pictures that are on, um, on a listing for an item, you would be saved from buying something that would turn out dreadful because the picture is so beautiful and the um, the canvas is so not beautiful. Like you can't tell what anything is. So that would have been super disappointing if she had bought that. And if there are any other ugly diamond paintings, well, uh, I'll be adding those in, but I don't, I can't see the future, and so I don't know what I might find in my inbox when I uh, get to it again. Okay, so, um, so that's it. Those are the colors of drills, and everything looked good to me, uh, so I'm not concerned about the quality of these drills. Again, it's a kind of a pain in the butt that they come in individual packages. I mean, 
the 3782, somebody tried to split them, but didn't. So I'm actually grateful because I'll only just have to take that together. But I don't know why they split these apart and send like all these individual bags instead of just leaving them in strips and tearing off what they need. Uh, but I know that there are some uh, warehouses out there that do it this way, and I don't understand why. Uh, so here's the kit that comes with this. And again, it's the same kit as we saw for the last one. So we've got a four-placer, a huge piece of wax, and then a whole bunch of bags. So I am always happy with that. That's I would say that's a, a step above kit. Uh, since it's got the four placer and the bags. Okay, I'm going to tape all these together now and um, put them in the bag uh, and get this ready to put in my inventory. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay then, so I've got all of the drills now uh, neatly put away in my bag where they will stay until... The coin for this diamond painting gets picked. Now, while I was going along, I was thinking, well, maybe what I'll do is weigh the two bags to see whether they seem to have about the same amount of drills. And this one might be heavier. I don't know. Um, I used to have a scale. I still have somewhere a scale for diamond paint uh, for um, for drills. And I can't find it. I've been looking for it for the last few days. So I think my cleaning lady might have moved it. And um, I don't know where it is. Anyway, uh, so I can't measure those. I can't weigh them. But um, I think this looks really nice. I'm really eager to see what it looks like in the 50 by 100. And I will show them to you side by side at that point. And then we had the... Um, the bamboo tissue box, which I think is going to look also very, very nice. And the first thing we looked at today was the sunflowers, which um, apart from this stickiness on the canvas here, which is kind of driving me crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's so sticky. It's it's like, anyway, I'm going to have to use some Goo Gone on that to get to get that off there because before I start working on the canvas because that's just unpleasant and uh, the back of this canvas where where the same thing happened a little unpleasant but other than that I mean I think the I think both of these projects are going to look very very nice when they're done uh, and I have high hopes for this as well so um, so I would say that this is I'd say a win I'm not 100% happy with everything, but I'm pretty happy with everything. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything. So, um, there you go. And I think I might have said earlier that Kuhal lets you choose your size. And then when I was uh, organizing, like, putting the drills together for, uh, for the Tree of Life, I, uh, I was thinking, mm, maybe they don't. So I'll, I'll just flash up on the screen whether, in fact, they allow you to choose your size or not. Because I'm thinking maybe they don't. Um, but there you have it. So that is our, it for our video for today, my friends. And I would love to know what you think of this. And um, so do leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank Kuhal for sending me a $45 US coupon that I was able to use to defray the costs of my order. I did order more than $45 worth of stuff. Um, so it wasn't entirely free, but, uh, but it, did, it did defray the cost of a lot of, uh, of the order. And um, so I wanna thank them for that. And I want to thank all of my patrons and remind you about the patron call that's taking place on Saturday between 1 and 3 p.m. Uh, feel free to join that call at any time between 1 and 3 p.m. And finally, I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please click the subscribe button. 
don't forget to like this video and I do love to receive your comments so leave me a comment down below. Take care everybody and I will be back again very very soon with another diamond painting video. Bye bye for now. I love you all.